All right, a good time to get in, uh, you know, our fundamental guest. Uh, we have Hemang Chani of Motilal Oswal Financial Services, who joins in. Hi, Hemang, always good speaking to you. Uh, well, I want to ask you about a couple of stocks now, that have corrected big time from their recent peak. One is Deepak Nitride, the other one is Dixon Technologies. Now, both of them saw a sharp correction, but it seems in today's trading session, the market sense that there is going to be a bit of a disruption in China, and these two companies could potentially be beneficiaries. You know, whether it's with regard to Foxconn's uh, shutting down their plant in China, that's for Dixon, or whether in fact, you know, this phenol plant that is potentially shut down in China, which could push up prices and increase offtake for something like a, uh, you know, a, like a Deepak Nitride. Any view on any of these two? So, Nigel, uh, in terms of Deepak Nitride, uh, the sense that one is getting is that uh, the, the final product pricing could be much better because of uh, the logistic issues and also the fact that you have, uh, you know, some lockdowns being imposed in China, uh, that could lead to some sort of a benefit for some of these specialty chemical companies. And uh, in the meantime, uh, there was some bit of a, you know, derating or a correction across uh, these companies because of the margin pressure, which was evident in Q2 and Q3 both. So you are seeing a bit of a uh, uptick there on the back of these developments, and that presents a good uh, tactical trading opportunity. So uh, we do think that there would be some interest uh, basis, uh, the current pricing, etc. But uh, you know what we have to bear in mind is that uh, from a let's say one or two year kind of a perspective, it would be difficult to gauge how the pricing is going to be. So from a short term momentum based perspective, definitely it presents a great opportunity, particularly Deepak Nitride. Uh, Deepak Nitrate. Uh, Hemang, uh, graph known. Any idea what's going on with the BAC Limited? I mean, the stock price move will come up on your screen. I think it's up 12, 13 percent now. Uh, once again, after the move we've seen last two weeks. What are we missing here? So I think, uh, Prashant, what we are seeing is that the entire uh, capital market play, be it uh, BSC, MCX, uh, CDSL, uh, and, uh, you know, maybe a couple of more, uh, you know, companies, including some of the brokerage firms, they are seeing uh, renewed uh, buying interest, uh, particularly BSC, uh, you know, I, I, I really don't have anything specific in terms of development that can justify such a big move. But I think the floating stock is less there. And uh, because of the, uh, you know, kind of cash that they're sitting on, there is always a hope uh, at a possibility of a strong buyback or a dividend, uh, you know, payout. But other than that, uh, I do not uh, think there is any specific, uh, you know, fundamental news or development which would warrant such a big move as such. But from a, uh, let's say, thematic basket point of view, capital market as a, as a theme is emerging very well. And part of this is also because of the LIC IPO and the kind of, you know, momentum or traction that can be there on the retail side. Uh, and of course, the overall volume growth on the market has been on a higher side. So that could, uh, you know, be the reason why we are seeing some interest there. Come back. Well, the Nifty is holding strong with a gain of close to 240 points in the last 90 minutes. Actually, has been quite good because yes, we were doing well with a gain of around 150, 160 points odd. But that additional fill up of around 70 points odd, that's what's come just in the last 90 minutes or so. But uh, sugar stocks, well, they are in focus and they have been in focus in the past few days. But Rampur Chini, well, that's trading with some gains, so it's come off the high point of the day. Earlier today, we spoke with Mr. Patwari, the CFO, to understand the demand as well as the pricing picture. Let's hear out what he had to tell us. Various companies are at various stages in terms of uh, implementing their ethanol capacity. As far as Balrampur Chini is concerned, our new distillery capacity will come on ground in November 22. And we will have FY24 will be the first full year of getting the benefit of this ethanol expansion. For FI23, we will get four, four months of benefit. So once we are able to achieve full, get full benefit of this ethanol capacity, we are looking at around one third of revenue coming out from the ethanol segment for our company. Ethanol prices are announced annually and which remains for the full year. So even if the proof goes below or it goes up, it does not really impact our ethanol supplies as far as the OMC's offtake is concerned. So in the in the ongoing ethanol season, we are looking at supply of around 400 crores of ethanol to our marketing companies at the industry level. 
Okay, Himang, uh, sugar has been one of the sectors uh, of the, not just day, but last few days actually. Your thoughts uh, on any stock that you like here? So clearly, Anuj, I think uh, what's happening in terms of crude and ethanol uh, price is the fact that UP elections are over. So in terms of policy, uh, there is going to be some sort of a stability and the focus of the government in terms of bringing more uh, reforms for this entire ethanol thing is uh, bringing a lot of focus into uh, the entire ethanol stoke sugar uh, theme. And uh, we do think that uh, this could be a big theme uh, given the way it is panning out uh, globally. So we do think that uh, you know, names like Balram, Chini, Praj and you know, a few other sugar names like Dwarikesh, etc. would provide a good uh, you know, uh, thematic opportunity. Though being a little cyclical, there would be a little bit of ups and downs. But given the current positioning, the balance sheet, etc., the top companies would emerge as big winners uh, of this thing. Okay, Himang, we'll let you go on that note today. Thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, before we start wrapping up, let's hear out some thoughts that we got from Atul Suri. What we really feel in the larger context is that we are going through a phase of consolidation, which is important because, you know, we've run hard, very hard for a year, year and a half. Markets need to consolidate. In this consolidation, you know, in a whole bull market, we are going to have events like this. This is just another case. So what this is, is nothing but a part of a larger consolidation that we are seeing in global markets. You know, sometimes you will have the drama of uh, the invasion.